Hey what's up guys, Alexi here, thank you for checking this video and welcome to another episode of The Design Factory. We're finally at the point where we can start actually designing our website. In the previous videos I show you all the necessary steps to properly lay down the foundation of our design. Now we are in a pretty sweet spot. With a solid grid system, a consistent and cohesive wireframe and a basic brand identity to guide our styling decision, we are ready to do some serious design. And probably this part, it's gonna be really boring. As you will notice in this video, I spent more than an hour only on the header. As I said, this could be boring, but let me explain why. It's pretty rare to design something perfect at the first try, I will almost say impossible. Multiple design iterations, rethinks and change of directions are a fundamental part of the design process. You can't expect to achieve a perfect final result at the first try, even with all the support we have with our previous boards and assets. The only way, the only real way to become good, improve your skills and the quality of your work, it's by doing it 100 times per day, and that's what I'm basically doing here. In wireframes, I created the basic structure of what I wanted the header to be, a big, entertaining area to show a background picture, displaying the menu and invite a new user to sign up. Now it was time to make this first experience exciting and not boring, but also delicate and not intrusive. Doing the menu was pretty straightforward, I already decided the structure and the only thing to do was converting everything with the selected font in a nice fun way. The part where I spent the most time was the background image. An image could feel or look like a secondary part of your design, something not important and marginal, but it's actually the opposite. Our brain is wired in a way that reacts more positively to images than to text or flat colors. A good, sharp and on-point image is way more effective than a descriptive paragraph. If you pick a good quality image but you don't spend time in doing any sort of post-production or retouching to align the picture to your design, that image will look out of place and your design will feel non-curated and unprofessional. Take your time to find the right image, try to take pictures and use your own images. You can always use stock photos, but those could be misleading during design if you're not willing to purchase those exact pictures once your file is complete. Never forget that your user should be able to quickly identify the core information of your site, where to click and how to move around. If your menu is blended with the background or your most important button doesn't pop out from the rest of the page, you risk to lose attention and produce a too blended experience. Your user will lose interest and won't know where to click or what the next step should be, and consequentially he will close the page. Remember, our brain decides if to stay or leave a website in less than 3 seconds. Be sure to be memorable. If you have no idea what you're doing, or if you're giving the right relevance to the content that you want, you can always apply the squint test. The only thing you have to do is to step back from your monitor, maybe two or three steps. Squint your eyes, like you were trying to look at something really far away, and look at your design. Your vision will blur and your design will blend with everything. Now ask yourself. Can I still recognize the structure of the section? Can I still see the important button I want my user to click? Are there any clear references or point of interest in my design? In conclusion, try to take your time and don't rush. Like everything that needs to be done properly and precisely, you need patience and commitment. Don't rush through the end, stick to your guideline and experiment multiple times with different ideas and solutions. Try, fail while trying, and try again, and repeat. Iterate your design as many times as you need, have fun during the process, and never settle for the feeling of, it's good enough. Thanks for watching, and talk to you soon.